Okay, here's some semi-final action between England and Italy at the Greenpoint Stadium. England here after beating Nigeria 2-0 in their quarterfinal. And of course, Italy defeated Spain in a penalty shootout. There you see two Italian managers shaking hands before the match. The three Lions looking serious. The fans enjoying the pageantry of this spectacle. The Azuri also looking serious. Marcello Lippi pointing out something during the national anthems. For England, Robert Green is starting in goal, so obviously the hand of Claude has not happened in this universe. Italy is missing their midfield maestro, Pirlo, who picked up an injury before this game. So Palumbo, number 21, is starting in his place. Early in the game, Giardino gets body checked by Johnson off the ball, no call. Absolutely shameful. England will take advantage of the takeaway. Girard playing on the outside. It's gonna cross it into the middle. Heskey's gonna flick it forward. Chiellini misplays the ball. Rooney knocks the ball past Buffon. And then into, into, then into the net. Putting England on the board in the ninth minute. Rooney with the wherewithal to not rush a shot and instead finesse it past the keeper and then into the net. So later in the first half, Girard with the uh, sliding tackle. Rooney picks up the ball. Running down the left flank, he's going to cross it into the middle. Chiellini again with a miscue. Inadvertently sets up Lampard, who is running late into the box. Palumbo, who, as I mentioned, is starting in place up here, though, was not able to pick up Lampard. He blasted into the side netting. No chance for Buffon. Early in the second half, Italy is looking to get on the board. Giardino receives the ball. He gets fouled inside the box. John Terry. Aaron Lennon. Frank Lampard protesting, but the referee's not having any of it. He shows the yellow card to John Terry with the late tackle that clips Giardino. Palomo, who is wearing the captain's armband for some reason, he steps up to the penalty spot, finesses it down the middle, fooling Robert Green. And that puts Italy back into contention. He is pumped up, justifying his place in the starting lineup and as Italy's captain. Nothing too spectacular, just a welcome pose strike. Robert Green goes to his right. So late in the game, late in regulation, Italy is trying to tie Giardino, not able to get a shot off. John Terry with the awkward block, but that seals the deal. And that is the end of Italy's defense of their 2006 World Cup triumph. And their campaign ends in disappointment. Buffon, despite a heroic effort, can't help but just sit in sorrow. And mediocre performances all around individually. Buffon with an 8.4 match rating. He was the man of the match. England was not really spectacular in terms of individual performances, but they managed to win and they go on to win the World Cup final against Argentina, 3-1. to one. Italy, ranked number four in the world coming into this tournament, was able to beat Spain, number one, and Holland, number three, in the knockout phase. But a disappointing loss in the semifinal, and then another disappointing loss in the third place playoff against New Zealand. Uh, the winner of Group F, who... Beat, who lost to Italy in the group stage, but won the group based on total goals scored. They managed to take third place. So Italy did well to advance past the group stage and win two really impressive knockout 
games ended up losing two in a row to leave South Africa in disappointment. Here's the tournament all-star team, Buffon, named as one of the three best keepers of the tournament. Spain's Casillas and Green were the other two keepers. The defenders are dominated by the England defenders. Chiellini made the tournament team. And Italy's striking tandem of Iaquinta and Giardino also make the tournament team. And they finish with five goals apiece and share the golden boot. And they also were runners up to Lionel Messi as the best player of the tournament. Now, if Italy had not lost Cannavaro early in the tournament and if Pirlo had played in the game against England, maybe the outcome might have been different, but that's how it goes.